most drivers in the UK are familiar with the blue badge aka the disabled badge this allows the owners of the badge or a family member driving them at the time preferential parking spaces across the UK if somebody is using a blue badge when they're not supposed to be namely when the disabled person is not in the car with them at the time or if the badge is simply a badge they've found somewhere uh, it's got no link to them whatsoever this is known as a fraudulent misuse of a blue badge it's a little bit more serious than the standard misuse in any event if the council or the authority is trying to build a case against you they will quite often use a police interview a uh, council interview under police caution uh, and that, that will be their way of trying to build a case via a confession now of course we always strongly advise our clients to be honest and f upfront about what's happened mistakes do happen some people you know through ignorance or just through convenience seeking convenience they do make mistakes very important to own up to your mistakes if this is the case you should just say what's happened and hope uh, that you know you get a relatively low punishment however if there is any dispute on your end about you if you were the driver on the day especially if you dispute having used the badge at all then you should seek solicitor's advice um obviously make sure what your account of the events are is clear if you concede that you were driving or that you did use the blue badge then it becomes much harder to advise frankly speaking this is a strict liability offense which means it's a yes or no matter your intentions your knowledge or your ignorance of the law is no defense if you were driving without the disabled person with you and used the badge if you misused the badge if it's a badge you've just found somewhere you have no idea who it actually belongs to then it's a it's a fraudulent misuse of the badge so when it comes to the council interview uh, under police caution this is done nine times out of ten because they're still trying to build the case against you if there was sufficient evidence they wouldn't necessarily bother taking this step however this is just a, a starting position we can't assume it's the case in every single matter this is a voluntary interview but refusing or failing to attend will draw certain inferences they could just turn around and then arrest you and ask you to have a compulsory interview which is a little bit more unpleasant than a voluntary one so when it comes to the council interview under police caution there are certain things to bear in mind number one it is voluntary however failing to attend will most likely just result in an arrest and then a standard police interview under caution which is a little bit more unpleasant you should probably take the opportunity to clarify your position now so we definitely recommend you attend however we also definitely recommend you take a legal opinion a police interview means the evidence gathered in that interview can be used against you if you refuse to answer a question without you know a sensible or logical reason it will nest it will nine times out of ten draw a negative inference against you and also most people aren't aware of what the actual law is they assume that if there's a reason for having used the blue badge such as i didn't know it was illegal it was a mistake i'm sorry etc however if there is any question about whether or not you were actually driving or if you were using the badge or if the person who is actually the owner of the badge the disabled person was present at the scene we definitely recommend taking legal advice. Diplox Solicitors provides advice for people facing a number of council uh, police interviews. Council interviews under police caution, including council tax matters, uh, blue badge misuse and more. If you have any concerns regarding a advocacy situation, if you need someone to attend an interview on your behalf, you can contact Diplox Solicitors via phone or email and request our free consultation to discuss your matter further thank you for watching please do subscribe for regular legal content